Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. On today's video, we are going to cover how to install SAP Cloud Connector. So SAP Cloud Connector is basically serves as a link between our SAP BTB application and on-premise system. This is, I can say, the easiest installation of any of SAP product. To download the installation file, you just have to go to this tools.hana.ondemand.com and then click on cloud scroll down a bit and here cloud connector so here we have to download two files so first of them is SAP JVM and the second one is our cloud connector installation file so we can install our cloud connector on Linux then Mac OS and Windows so these are the two files that we need to download and we need to download according to our operating system and architecture. So friends, I already downloaded these files. Now I'm taking you directly to the installation and show you how we are going to install it. So for that I'm using VMware machine and here my operating system is Red Hat Linux 7.9. So just open. Here, this is the directory where I have placed all these files. So just, I'm going here. So the SAP Cloud Connector files comes as a zip file and our JVM files comes as a RPM file. So first I'm going to install the Java runtime. So for that I am using RPM, hyphen, IVH and then SAP JVM command. Hit enter. It's going to take only a few seconds to install this. Okay, so here you can see that it's installed. Now we have to install our SAP Cloud Connector. So same command I'm going to use rpm hyphen ivh then com okay so this is our rpm file for cloud connector hit enter it's also going to take only few seconds So as you are able to see that our cloud connector is installed and it's been started. So to restart, let's do a restart system, CTL, restart and then SCC underscore daemon. Hit enter and it will restart our cloud connector services. Now open any of the browser and https well host here i am just using the mozilla browser on this particular cloud connector machine that's a, that's why i'm using local host here otherwise you can use the ip or you can use your host name 8443 advance it will throw us a ssl warning Accept and risk. This is the Cloud Connector login page. Now we have to log in with the administrator. And by default, password of this administrator is manage M A N A G E. Hit enter. Now it will ask for the current password and ask us to change the password. Also here we have to choose the installation type. So this is our master or you can say the primary installation. So one thing I want to tell you that we can configure the HA also for cloud connector. Okay, that will that I will cover in the upcoming videos. Then click on save.
so this is our main page okay here we have to put all the information related to the sub account that i will cover in the upcoming video that how we need to fill this detail and from where we have to get that so this is our cloud connector you can say console from here you can see start from here you can do the refresh from here you can log out then settings and if you want to read the documentation you can do it from here then this is the configuration page from here we can do the configuration like if you want to put any kind of connector info that we can do here if you want to configure HTTPS proxy that also we can do cloud user store then custom regions etc that we can do from here so all this detail will be uh, we are going to see in our upcoming video that how we are going to configure this thanks for watching have a great day